And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Super Castlevania 4. This is a new session. Uh, like I said, uh, I really needed a break after that last session, so it's actually uh, Easter Day. Uh, it's actually April Fool's while I'm right recording this. But it's also Easter. And so, I watched uh, my favorite Easter movie, which of course is Life of Ryan by Monty Python. Uh, I don't remember this level. This seems quite nice, though. I gotta say. I'm in a library! Ooh! Is that book gonna come after me? I bet it, I bet it is. I have a nasty feeling it's gonna, like, fall down on me or something. Yeah. I watched Life of Brian again, and uh, I'm always surprised. I mean, every time I go back to that movie, I'm always a little afraid, like, uh, it's not going to be as funny as I remember it being. And it's always as funny as I remember it being. I really like it. I think it's easily my favorite of the Monty Python movies. Um, so, I don't mind uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And I do think, like... Uh, uh, that Monty Python, The Meaning of Life, has its, like, good points as well. They're pretty even Stevens for me. The problem, I think, with uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail is this, that I think it's been, like... I think it's been over-quoted, and, uh... It is a funny movie, don't get me wrong. I do think it's really funny. I think the... I don't... I think the only thing about it I never liked is the ending, and I think it's, like... So, that's a, an opinion splitter. You know, because the whole movie's really farcical, so, you know, you you expect the... You probably should, you know, I probably should expect the ending to make no sense anyway. But, uh, I honestly just... I always, I, I always feel a little cheated by the finale. But, uh, yeah. Life of Brian. Uh, I'm always, you know, you know, uh, pilot, uh, uh, you know and biggest dickest and you know he's not the messiah he's a very naughty boy i mean every everything about that movie just you know is always funny to me it's a gorgeous movie too like i think they you know i think they actually did shoot it like in the middle east oh do i not have hearts oh 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 oh, oh, oh. l l and also it's not the cross i thought i had the cross i did have the cross for a while I think my favorite part of Monty Python the Holy Grail is the uh, Lancelot massacring everybody in the palace, which is weird because I'm not usually a fan of that kind of, like, you know, violent comedy uh, in general. But I think, I think that whole sequence, I think that whole segment within the castle, uh, even, even like the, the king being mean to his son, I think it's just so funny, <laughs> like... <laughs> So, one day, son, all of this will be yours. But the curtains? No, not the curtains, son. <laughs> and then, like, he, the everything. Uh, but, oh, oh, yeah, and that, that, that Latin, when he when he's writing uh, Romans Go Home on the, uh, the palace walls. Uh, and when, when they get, when they run into that other group underneath the palace when they're trying to ki kidnap Pon uh, Pilot's wife. Uh, <laughs> and it's just like Michael Palin is just brilliant in that. Like, strike him, Centurion, very waffly, and uh, throw him to the, to the throw him to the floor, sir. What? Throw him to the floor. Throw him to the floor. And there's a weird thing though about those Monty Python movies. I think because I've seen Eric Idle so much in like stuff outside of Monty Python, I always he always feels weirdly out of place for me, even though. Yeah, I don't know. What, what, what is it? I, I've just seen Eric Idle in so many, like, things outside of Monty Python. Uh, but John Cleese, like, absolutely, like, I could not imagine, like, any anything Monty Python related without him. Which is weird. Which is weird, because I know it doesn't make any sense. I forget, these guys, these guys were in Castlevania 3 as well, weren't they? Come on, I wanna... Oh, God. The book nearly killed me. Holy shit. Okay, I, I thought for sure I was dead there.
Fucking books, man. <laughs> Ugh. Why must you use the thing I love uh, as a thing to be a dick about with me? Oh no! God damn it, that's so frightening. Because I know if I had fallen, like... Jesus, there better be a... There better be a, a checkpoint at this at this junction because I died in those stairs before. Ugh, I'm getting really bad at Mega Man flashback with from this. Oh god. No! Oh. 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 oh, oh. Not. Not a fan of this. Not a fan of this. Great, down to half health. That I'm sure that won't come to bite me in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Also, we happen to I happened to run into Villa again, and we actually watched Young Frankenstein together, which was interesting because I found out Villa has never seen that movie, uh, which seems incredible to me because that was, you know, people people have seen probably my like my Mel Brooks movies list they know probably know already know that that's my favorite oh god Mel Brooks movie and I also love the classic Frankenstein I think honestly honest to god oh this 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 does not feel good yeah I'm not a fan of the living paintings oh god thank god Okay. The music for this level is way too chill. We're already seeing like a fair amount of bullshit from the, in this part. Oh yeah, and I love uh, Tim the Enchanter. I am an enchanter. There are some that call me Tim? Tim? <laughs> Yeah, I, lo I love a Scottish accent. Shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody. <laughs> and meaning of life, I, uh, meaning of life is like it's like any other like super um, episodic movie. Oh my god! Fuck you. Yeah. So it's like. Oh my god, he drops the candles? Fucking dog. Yeah. What the fucking shit is that? Oh man, I do not remember this. Neither do I particularly want to. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, so um... There are good parts. There are good parts in the meaning of life, and then there are parts like the uh, the big, the oh, oh oh god, yeah, the fat guy puking like, like that's that's one that I'm not a fan of. For instance, I genuinely have a hard time watching that part, but I love the the songs. The songs are great. Like that's that would I would say is my favorite thing about that movie. I think it actually has the best songs. Of any of the Monty Python movies. That's including Always Look on the Bright Side of Life. Yeah. Which is a. Oh my. Ooh. I want this asshole to get out of the painting. Oh my god! The bats! The bats! The bats are really fucking me up. Yeah, I was talking about the dollar hand last time. I'm, I'm beginning to think the dollar hand's not in this. I mean, maybe I'm... Yeah. Maybe I'm... Like, I'm thinking I was confusing it with Rondo of Blood. Oh, dear. That's not bullshit or anything. <laughs> well, it's okay. I'm, it's only at, I'm at this part. This, this part's pretty chill. Yeah. And also, like, every sperm is sacred. <laughs> yeah. 
And I love the universe song as well. I just don't like the segment that it's the organ donor guys. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I, I don't like... So, certain types of gross out humor are funny to me, certain types are not. Yeah. I've never, yeah, I've never been particularly tempted to do the Monty Pythons as a review because I, I think I've mentioned this before that I'm not, I, I, I don't like reviewing comedies. Because here's the thing, like, you know, because the, the thing, the thing is, and I, and I still stand by it, is like, the thing that might be funny to somebody else, it may not be funny for a lot of other people. Like, comedy is so subjective. Oh my god. I really would want to have full health for this fight. It's not particularly hard. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> I love the ghost hand is the enemy. <laughs> okay. So let me know in the comments, by the way, if you want to see me let's play Rondo of Blood. I'm beating the thing the dollar hand was in Rondo of Blood. And I'm just, I just keep confusing it with this game. Um, dollar hand, by the way, if you don't know what that is, that's the kind of headless horseman knight or the uh, the ghost carrying its own head and I was reminded of course what it was again when I was watching interviews with monster girls which is an awesome anime by the way and I highly recommend oh god mm. by the way we might have some anime stuff coming up in the B&W reviews actually I don't know I recorded so many episodes of that Oh, 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 I just recorded so many, like, videos recently, I don't know where we are timeline-wise by the time this one comes out. It could be, like... Come on, finish, finish him off, finish him off. He's almost dead. Yes! Okay, good. That wasn't so hard. Yeah, like I said, the boss fights in this game just aren't very hard. It's another thing like, um, oh, what's, oh, I didn't remember this. This is going to collapse. I'm dropping down. Yeah, I'm getting bad flashbacks of the first Castlevania with this. Well, stay H8. So we're not still not up to the numbers yet. I keep forgetting to comment on the spiders. The, those are totally the spiders from uh, Castlevania 2. They might have been in 3 as well. Ooh, except they don't, they shoot little spiders. They don't shoot webs like they did before. Oh, and of course, it's the green gunk. That's, that's some bullshit. I, I hate. Hey, I think I remember this level actually. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember this level now. This one's pretty bullshit. But we are pretty far in the game, too, so yeah. Oh no! Fuck you. Ugh. Do not want your green. Shit. I think this is- yes! These are the ones that you can climb on. Okay, I gotta wait for those green poops to go away. Oh no, not you! Oh. That was that was lucky. I did not think for a second that I was gonna survive that. Are you kidding me? Are you? No. Okay. I thought I was not doing damage to that thing. The volume's pretty low, though, because, um... 
yeah, I don't know. My recording setup at this moment is that I have the TV like literally in front of me. Oh dear God. I got zero lives. Oh. I'll just kill myself on this because if I get too far, if I get too far in this level and uh, only then like kill my, only then die, like I'm gonna be really pissed at myself. But that's the thing, like, now I can't really remember, like, what are the bosses that I've yet to beat. I remember that skull guy. Uh, I do not, I did not remember that armor, the living armor enemy. Honestly, I just don't remember the bosses in this game. I, the, the golem, maybe, like, vaguely. And I know the Grim, the Grim Reaper, of course, is coming, but we're still quite far away before the Reaper, before the Reaper comes. Yeah, I don't know. I just they're just not very memorable. There has to be a Frankenstein's monster, doesn't there? But I honestly, honestly, I just do not remember the bosses in this game. And that's the thing I think is bullshit, is that, like, the Axe Knights. Because in, like, old, in the first Castlevania, the Axe, you could, oh god, not again. Jesus, give me that. Yeah, in the first game, you know, you could basically destroy the Axe Knights' axes before they ever, like, come close to you. And in this, you can't. Uh, like, my, there's a there's a certain area around the uh, enemies when my whip does not affect their weapons at all. Oh Jesus! I think I, I oh I was afraid I just goofed. Okay, I had to take a risk there, I wasn't sure, like... Oh, goddamn bat. Okay. Oh, god. I was about to scratch my cheek, and then I realized I was a bone dragon. Oh, thank god. Fuck you, bat. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the enemies. The enemies are just really hard to hit for some reason in this game. Excuses, excuses, I know. Okay, here's the bridge. No, 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 you fox. Ugh. Really, am I, I'm only now at like, uh, I don't know what that is. I do not want any part of it. Oh God, and then of course the Medusa heads. Of course the Medusa heads. I just want to get past this part as quickly as I can. Oh, but of course there has to be bullshit galore. Okay, am I gonna die if I? I'm gonna take a risk and see if I can. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, wasn't worth it, but still at eight two. Oh boy, really hope there's a checkpoint. Because I'm not going to last for very long if there's not. Oh, God. Oof. If you press down, you can make me do the dock walk. <laughs> That's <laughs> that actually is a game I've been planning to. Uh, not the, the CDI uh, Zelda's Wand of Gamelon. Not the Faces of Evil. I have it. And I've actually thought about like let's playing it. I I I plan. Maybe maybe I should do that the same way I kind of was planning to do the Castlevania two. Like I haven't beaten the game or anything, but uh, I've gotten relatively far in it. It's one of those games like I really think it's kind of charming. <laughs> I, just regardless of how infamous. 
people consider it. I honestly just kind of think it's adorable. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, good. I got meat. Oh my god, those are insta-death. I did not realize that. So can I duck walk under those? By the way, it was I did have a checkpoint there. Good, good. This level is too spiky, I don't like it. Let's get dangerous. Oh my god. You know what? Let's let's continue from this in the next part. So see you then. Bye.